and welcome to Unique Spirits, where it is like three o'clock in the morning, and I decided to do a read. Of course, that's why I'm not on camera because it's three in the morning. However, I it's eleven eleven right now, and I decided to do a divine masculine and divine feminine read to see kind of where the energies are sitting. It's my goal for this day to really balance both my divine feminine and masculine within myself, but. I kind of wanted to see where the flow of energy was on the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine uh, well, vibes. So, anyways, I asked what the Divine Feminine, like, what she needs to know. So, it looks like stability, whatever form you see that in, is coming in fast. But there's been some delays. However... It's it's still moving in a forward direction. Then I asked, what is the stability for her? And we got the tower. <laughs> Meaning, it's going to shake your world, and it's going to be crazy, but I think it's going to be a good thing. Honestly, I the change doesn't have to always be bad. And then I asked, give me a little more detail, and it said, well, you're going to hear about it. Don't worry. <laughs> So then I went over to Divine Masculine and I was like, okay, what do they need to know? And we got the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords, which to me is you need to stand in what is authentic to you, what you believe is um, passionate and loving, and you need to stand in your truth and have your boundaries. Then I asked, then I said, What's going to happen from that? And we got news. Like, very small news, but passionate news that will come in fast. And then you also, the Divine Masculine, also got the Six of Swords, which I thought was interesting, which I went into over here. And so I asked a little bit more on the news, and it was judgment and the truth, which is change, the truth about some change in someone's life. Like, And I'm not talking... A little bit of change. I'm talking like change your whole world kind of change. Then I asked, what is the Six of Swords? So that means that the Divine Masculine and Feminine are moving together towards, a, you know, one direction or one path or integrating both of them within oneself. So I asked what the Six of Swords was about and we got Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Page of Wands, and Five of Pentacles, which tells me... I feel like either the masculine or the masculine within yourself is going to bring out the stability, is going to offer the stability within oneself or offer it to someone else. And also be honest about being left out in the cold and any changes that have been going on. I thought this was such an interesting read because personally, like this is an internal thing. So, but for someone, I feel like it could be external. So, sharing the energy. I also, both decks, when, oh, I just, did you see that? Well, okay, regardless. Both decks, when I had both decks, both of them were like this. Where, like, okay, the story's done. We're done. So, and then you saw on the feminine side, we got the Knight of Cups. That's cool. Oh, I didn't even show you. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That's like a love offer coming in or, you know, like the love of oneself is being complete. So take this story as it resonates for you. It's a beautiful, beautiful 1111 story, even if it's just the integration of oneself within the masculine and feminine within themselves. It looks like stability is coming in for the feminine and the masculine. I love it. Peace, love, light, and love, safe.